Hello everyone. I'm on a road trip down to the southern border of Colorado and to New Mexico. Um, having a look at the geologic record in the Library of Sediments. Life on this planet has never been easy, but here is coal, a record of plant life that was rather prolific. I'm just south of Trinidad, Colorado, on Rachan Pass, and stratigraphically up from here is the tertiary, and down from here is the Cretaceous, and about right here was a very bad day for the dinosaurs. The Cliffhouse Sandstone uh, behind me here was a barrier island. Um, and uh, so the offshore mud would have been the Lewis Shale under it. And there was a lagoon of Lewis Shale behind this barrier island of Cretaceous Cliffhouse Sandstone. So the charcoal people used a beach as their backdrop understanding comes only when standing on a beach. We can sense the long rhythms of earth and sea that sculptured its lands form and produced rock and sand of which it is composed. There's a lot of oil in the San Juan Basin's three miles of sediment. Some of the oil is trapped on these sandstones. As sea level changed during the Cretaceous, the beach migrated out and back, repeating itself upward. Tectonic forces during the late Cretaceous caused compression on the um, San Juan Basin, lifting the sediments up on the west side, tilting them toward the east. A striking feature on this landscape is ship rock, a volcanic plug. Tectonic force and this fracture the crust, allowing fluids up. It's basalt. North of Chaco Canyon is another Chaco people's pueblo called Aztec. It's easy to tell. These people were growing um, corn, living on corn. Their kiva has been reconstructed. It's beautiful. So in review, I first stopped at Trinidad on the border of Colorado. Then I drifted down to Santa Fe and over to Amos Springs Hot Springs and then to Chaco Canyon and then up to Aztec.